virus and it causes uh, very high fevers and rashes. Children will have a runny nose, they'll have watery eyes, they'll have a cough, they'll feel unwell. And in three to four days after they start with uh, the runny nose and cough, they'll start having a rash and it starts from their head and it goes down their body. Sometimes they also have spots inside of their mouth too. When the rash starts, they'll have high fevers, 104, 105 fevers, and those can last for almost a week. And then the rash will slowly fade over time. It can be dangerous because there can be complications to measles. Most people have the high fevers and they don't feel well and they may need to be in the hospital for IV fluids and to help control their fevers. But they recover, but 30% of kids actually end up having complications from measles. And they can have ear infections or pneumonia, encephalitis, which is swelling around your brain. It can lead to blindness, like in other third world countries, it can cause blindness and deafness and neurological devastation for kids if they get that swelling around their brain. Anyone that's not vaccinated is at risk, but the complications seem to occur in kids that are less than five or adults that are over 20. The incubation period is about seven to uh, 12 to 20 days. So after you've been exposed, you, you can get sick up to seven days afterwards. And you're contagious for uh, a few days before you start getting sick till you know five or six days after you've had the fevers. It's an airborne spread, so if you cough and you sneeze and there's um, little water droplets in the air, you could, another person can breathe those in and um, catch that from you. So even uh, someone that coughs in the waiting room next to you, you can catch it from them even if you didn't touch or touch your nose. You can also catch it from if they coughed onto a counter, and it can live for several hours again on counters. And there's no treatment for viruses, really. The treatment's just supportive care and trying to help kids get through the immediate illness with fevers and not getting dehydrated. And if they have encephalitis, to try to help support them as much as they can until they can recover. Um, but the main treatment is just preventative treatment by giving kids vaccines to try to prevent them from getting sick. So measles vaccine is usually given as a combined vaccine with mumps, measles, and um, rubella, which is German measles. And we give that at one, and we give that again at four to six years old. Um, if, there were, if you're in a, a considered an endemic area, if there was an outbreak, we could give the vaccine before 12 months, but we would probably revaccinate again after they were one. Yeah.